All right, what's going on, everyone? Today, I'm going to show you how to play Spider-Man Miles Morales in Linux. Now, this has been a long time coming. I'm hoping that this works. I have not even tested it to verify it yet, so uh, this might not even get uploaded if it doesn't work. But I'm going to assume it's going to work with Proton Experimental, as did Spider-Man Remastered the day that it came out. And I didn't have to uh, set Proton Experimental to uh, the Bleeding Edge beta version or anything like that. So my steps for how to play the game are as follows. We're gonna click on the game, right click on the game, we're gonna click the properties button here, click compatibility, and then we're gonna force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool by clicking this little check, spot, uh, this little check box. Wow, I'm really terrible at forming words, and stuff. my bad. I'm just gonna select Proton Experimental as our version of Proton. Now, <clears throat> you're gonna see in real time if this works or not. I'm gonna launch it up, we're gonna get to the main menu, and then uh, I'll load into, uh, I don't know, something for a second. And we'll end the video there. And then I'm going to do a first 30 minutes in Linux video showing some gameplay. So we're going to make those two separate videos. Instead of one, we're going to have first 30 minutes in Linux, or however long it takes for me to beat the introduction. And then we're going to have the how to play in Linux, which is this. So let's do it. I've been waiting for hours. It's been preloaded for the past two days, and I've had it ready to go. We're just going to click play here. And fingers crossed that it works with absolutely no issues. I have a lot of high hopes. This is pretty much the same game as Spider-Man Remastered, just with some different levels and stuff. And we've got the launcher. There's an option to not show it. That's cool. Come over here to settings. And I'm going to go ahead and turn all this off. We're going to make our aspect ratio 16 by 9, dynamic resolution scaling off. We'll turn VSync off as such. And we're on the high preset. I'm going to turn my anisotropic filtering to 16x. We're going to turn depth of field off, a vignette, and chromatic aberration off. And then we will change the ambient occlusion to HBAO+. We're going to turn motion blur and film grain strength to zero. And I'm going to put my sharpness to five. This is my preference. This is how I like playing remaster. I'm going to do the same thing with this version. I mean, I don't know. Maybe for my first playthrough, I'll leave everything on. But I, it's just... Uh, Little pretty intricacies in the graphics that I, I'm not too big of a fan of. So we'll click OK now. And I guess what I will do next is go in offline mode here. Click on our settings. I'm going to go to end game. Hopefully this just works. Matter of fact, I'm going to cut the video right here and go in offline mode. Oh, well, it, it, it already worked apparently. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to launch the game. We're in the launcher already. So not, not launch, but we're going to launch the game from the launcher. And hopefully our frame rate counter will be up and running. So it's telling us that we don't have the latest AMD driver. This is a Proton thing. It, it's not going to recognize our Linux AMD open source driver the same way that it does the Windows driver. But we are on Mesa version 22.2.2. .2. I believe we'll go ahead and verify here real quick. I was trying to install Tenacity last night. So GLX Info Grip Mesa, yeah, 22.2.0. And then if we come over here and we type in uname R, you can see that we're on Linux kernel 6.0, and we are running this on Pop OS 22.04 LTS. Fully updated, of course. Let's do it. Really, really am excited for this game. I've been waiting for it for a long time. I'm hoping that they fixed some of the issues I had with Remastered. Uh, it was a pretty good PC port, don't get me wrong, but it was definitely not perfect, especially on AMD hardware some lighting bugs that still rear their ugly head as of the last time I played it. So far so good, we're getting some uh, introductory sequences here. And I'm going to at least start a new game, okay? And we're gonna see some in-engine stuff outside of the main menu. And then I'm gonna cut the video there and I'm going to immediately follow this up with my 30, first 30 minutes in Linux video. So. We can watch a recap of events leading up to this moment. No, thank you. I gotta admit, it's quite refreshing having a uh, different main menu, but to be totally honest, 40 FPS has been concerned. I think that this is just a problem with the game. On my hardware, I have an RX 6600, and a Ryzen 7 5700G 8-core 16-thread CPU should be more than capable than you would think, but we run into some situations where for some reason, when I'm in like the homeless shelter in Spider-Man Remaster, or like right here I'm on a train, when I'm up close and seeing all of this hair detail being rendered, it just tanks my performance. So that was something that didn't happen in Remaster that much until recently, so maybe it's just something that has been patched, you know, like that. So we're gonna do Spectacular. 
Uh, my goal is to 100% this game, so I'm gonna have to beat it on the hardest difficulty. And we're gonna come over here and just click start. I'm not gonna worry about anything else. Let's see what happens. So far, it looks great, though. I've only played this game once. I beat Spider-Man PS4 like three times before playing the remaster. And I beat it like another four times, 100% it. So, surely I can get a lot of play time out of this. I would like to document my 100%ing experience, but I don't know how to have this space, honestly. as much of it as possible. So, look, I think, oh, I was going to say, I think we could skip the cutscene. It doesn't look like we can. I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, because I really want you guys to see the first 30 minutes of Linux. What I'm going to do is start recording that right now, as soon as I end this, and we're going to see how that goes. That'll be your actual gameplay look, uh, you know, see what the performance is like on my hardware with this uh, Linux distribution and everything that I've already said. I will recap that stuff in that video. But this has been how to play in Linux. This is how you should be able to get the game to work for you as easily as possible on desktop Linux. Now on the Steam Deck, I'm sure you could force experimental. I'm not sure how that works. I've never used the Steam Deck. But on desktop Linux, as long as you have an up-to-date Linux distribution like I do, uh, and more so, I would say if you have Manjaro, Pop OS, or no bar, this is probably going to work just fine. Uh, just force Proton Experimental, and I think you're going to be good to go. If not, let me know down in the comments what you think, if it works for you, if you had to do anything else to get it to work, and be sure to leave your findings on ProtonDB. Leave a report. That's going to help a lot of people out that are not as technically knowledgeable about Linux. So that's going to be a very great tool that you can contribute your knowledge to to help people that want to get into gaming on Linux. So with that being said, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss my first 30 minutes gameplay that I'm going to upload here in just a little while. And I will see you all very soon with the next video. Bye-bye.